I was thinking about this earlier today. I had the uh, great pleasure of spending some time with your family, with your mom, and -hmm. your mom is such a social person. And I mean, immediately you cannot, there's no such thing as talking to your mom for 30 seconds. You start talking to your mom and the next thing you know, 20 minutes have gone by and it's been delightful. I can't, is your mom making it through this period without all that social connection? You know what? She can be social when she has to, but she is perfectly content on her own. I mean, the other day I call her and I'm like, how are you doing? She's like, I'm surprisingly fine. Maybe something's wrong with me, but I'm perfectly happy not seeing people. She kind of questioned it, but Uh she's got a little routine going on um, and she's been good. I think she's been doing some mild, safe social distancing with relatives, you know, outside, things like that. So Good. it's kept her focused. So she is doing well. Thank you. She, for she is the, I think, the least affected person I've ever met uh, by this historic change that happened in her life. When I would t- when I talked to her, she was just had this attitude like, well, I'm here now living in the White House because that's what's going on now. I mean, it was really incredible. And and she had no, there was no sense that it changed her in any way. Oh, my God. No, no. I mean, and she has played a pivotal role in keeping us all grounded. She is just not impressed with anything. Um, (laughs) Not much of anything. Uh The funniest thing is like when we were in the White House and we do these fabulous, you know, international trips. Um, and I, it was always like pulling teeth to get her to go, you know, I, yeah, we're going to China, mom. And it's like, well, why would I want to go to China? <laughs> and, uh, the great wall history, you know, uh-huh. it's another part of the, you know, you want to go to the Vatican, see the Pope. And it's like, uh, I think I, didn't I meet the Pope once before? Why would I want to go back to Rome? Didn't I seen it? It's like, yeah. mm-hmm, you might want to see it again. So yeah. it was always a level of just sort of telling her, this is kind of a big deal. You might want to be a part of it. But the one thing that would always get her to say yes was if I said, the girls really want you to come. Yes. That would be like, oh, oh, okay. Well, if the girls want me to come, then of course I'll come for them. Right. right. So she, she's a trip. She's, she's, <laughs> she's quite. Does she still, I, I always get the sense, and I got the sense from your book, and I also got the sense from hanging around a little bit with your brother, uh, Craig, that, that he's the favorite. And you think, what do you have to do? What yes. do you have to do? Yeah. You are known throughout the world. You are an iconic figure, and she's still like, yeah, pretty good. But, uh-huh. uh, but Craig, you got to give oh, it to Craig. The, the, the apple of her eye. I mean, he's my favorite, too. Um, he's, he's actually a, a very sweet, sweet brother to have. But no, uh-huh. it's like she can get him. He can get her to do anything. Right. I mean, even moving into the White House, I wrote, I was like, I couldn't convince her to come. So I had to call Craig and tell her, Craig, you got to make mom come to the White House. We need her. She was right. like, oh, of course. Well, Craig thinks it's a good idea. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, big brother, mothers and their sons, you know, yep. she likes me. She loves me deeply. That I know. But I think we've all concluded that even it's his own wife, his own kids, they know, well, if you want grandma to do something like Craig Paul. Well, yeah. you used your brother, too. You use you. T- I, I, I heard you say that you you got your brother to sort of check out your, uh, you know, boyfriend at the time, mm-hmm. President Obama, uh, and to see like what. How is he on the basketball court? Like, analyze him for me because you thought that that might tell you something about his character. Absolutely. I mean, we're a, we have always been a big sports family. We, you know, my brother played tons of sports. Played, you know, I was all Ivy, and basketball was a big part of our lives. And my father believed you could tell a lot about a person by how they behaved on a team. And I agreed with this. So I thought, you know, I was, was dating him starting to get serious. I was introducing him to the family. And you know how people can, they they show up well for your family, but what do they do when the stakes are really high? What happens on the court? So he took him out to play a pickup game and the, the, the reports were obviously good because he stayed in my life. Um, (laughs) Wasn't a ball hog. Um, He said he was good without being cocky. 
He wasn't afraid to pass the ball. Um, and he didn't do on the court what he couldn't do. Like he didn't try to dunk or right. do something that he clearly couldn't do. So all in all, it was a good report. And it has wound up being, he's been pretty, Barack has been pretty consistent, you know. Sure. With his character, as we can see, as our nation's leader. Yeah. That He's a pretty honest shooter. Yeah, I uh, first of all, I'm I'm very glad he had a good game that day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or else God knows how history would be different. Uh, second, it occurs to me that if uh, if my uh, the the women in my life had judged me on my basketball prowess, I would be a 57 year old virgin right now. <laughs> so <laughs> and no I'm game. Really, <laughs> I really so stayed away from the basketball. All that height. My God. Well, Perfect. with with great with great height does not come great coordination. I hate to tell you. <laughs> well, you um, have other things. <laughs> uh, tell me what they are at some point, because I well, don't know. <laughs> your great hair. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We'll your leave it at wonderful that. Wonderful smile. <laughs> Um, and wicked wit. I mean, yeah, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Basketball. <laughs> um, who needs that? You're right. I don't need that.